the amount of resources uh, is really intense for the first iteration that the MOOC requires, and it goes down considerably for subsequent iterations of the MOOC. So did you, um, some of the content then that had been recorded, you use that material again rather than creating new recordings in the studios and things like that? Yes, and I considered revamping some of the videos, but, um, and I consider I considered making a lot of changes with the course, but frankly, um, there were a couple barriers to me doing so. One was um, logistical. So if if I changed really any piece of the course, or if I drastically shortened, I wanted to move the course down from being twelve weeks to being six weeks or eight weeks, which is more in line with what. Um, most MOOCs are, uh, you know, changing any one piece of it kind of would have required, unraveled the entire course, and I, um, I didn't have the time nor the energy, frankly, to redo an entire course again, and so I found myself unable to even really tweak a lot of things that I would have otherwise, um, because it was, it was just so all interconnected, and that, that's different than the face-to-face -face classes that, that I teach, because in my semester courses, um, you know, I make notes on my syllabus and I make notes to myself. And so if I teach the course again, I can make changes and it's not as time intensive and you have a whole 16 weeks to kind of develop the course and, and it seemed easier to, to do. But with the MOOC, I couldn't do that.